So hello everybody and welcome to our setup pipes to earth session. We start by opening VS Code. As VS Code opens, um, we want to enable our connection to WSL. As you use WSL, if not, uh, that's not the case for you. So we have to wait until the Linux distribution gets started. Perfect. So we have our connection to WSL. And now we want to open the file path where we want to store our Pipeser Earth repository. So we are right now in the file path of the uh, Linux um, distribution. In my case, I want to store my repository on my Windows distribution. So I have to go back and over MNT, I can switch to the file path of the Windows system. So I just uh, select real quick where I want to store the Pipes Earth repository. This is the path. I click on OK and now this path get, uh, get opened. You have to wait a little bit. Perfect. Um, next, we want to open a new terminal. Perfect. And uh, it's very important that the path of this terminal is the path where you want to store your Pipes or Earth repository. So what we are doing next, um, we clone the Pipes Earth repository by um, simply do this git clone command. We press enter. Now the repository gets cloned. And after cloning the repo, we create our conda environment. Um, to, do, to do this, um, we have several options. I prefer the option like this. I go into the folder. So now I am into it in the Pipes of Earth folder. And um, with the uh, following command, I can create our conda environment of Pipeserve. Yeah, as, I can, as you can see, I already have uh, the Pipeserve environment, but um, yeah, this would be the command um, after uh, the after we um, press enter. This can take a little while, and afterwards, um, yeah, we can use the environment by typing conda activate pipeser earth. In my case, I'm already in the uh, pipes the earth environment. But if I want to go back into the base environment, this would be it. This. Um, anyway, we want to stay in the pipes the earth environment. And after cloning the repository and um, Installing the um, environment, we want to install the solver. As we have academic access, um, uh, we are using the Groby solver. 
if you don't have academic access, um, uh, you can also use the highest solver. So what we are going to do is um, register at uh, the Groby portal and then um, under licenses request we take a named user academic license, we generate it, um, clicking that we are agreeing the terms of the end user license agreement and confirm our request. Then the license is going to be generated and we have our key here. So what we are go going to do is to copy this key and simply um, paste it into our um, in our terminal, press enter, and then um, with this key and the Pipes to Earth environment created, we have successfully installed Gurobi. After installing Gurobi, we can continue with the IPython kernel installation. And uh, additionally, we are testing if Jupyter Lab works. So, what we are going to do is simply paste this into the terminal and press enter. So as you can see, everything uh, seems to work. And uh, now we can move on and verify if Java is successfully installed. To do this, um, either um, uh, open a new terminal or simply just um, shut down the Jupyter server with control C and um, test the Java version with Java minus version. So as you can see, I have already installed Java. Otherwise, um, if it's not installed yet, you can do this by those two commands. Perfect. Now um, we want to install the CDS API key. Therefore, we register at this page and copy afterwards the URL and the key which is in this box. Um, uh, this will get automatically updated as soon as you register uh, at this page. And we are copying the, uh, the, the content of this uh, box into a file placed in the path $home.cdsapric. Um, uh, just to show it to you, um, we can do this by um, typing uh, backslash backslash VSL dollar in our explorer and simply press enter, go Ubuntu, home, the username, and there we go. There is uh, my file. If there isn't a file yet, simply um, create it with the editor and name it .cdsapirc afterwards. Um, you can open it with the um, editor and just simply um, yeah, paste the content of the black box into it and then um, yeah, CDS API is installed.
Now, to make our first uh, modulation, we copy the config default and simply paste it once again and rename it to config.yaml. And afterwards, um, uh, we open the config and now we can do our settings to um, yeah, adjust it for your needs. Um, uh, for example, you can adjust uh, the countries to the country or any region of your choice. Um, of course, we can as well adjust any other config setting as well. I will give you a link to the docs where every config setting is explained and to start the, um, the, the model now, we uh, can do this by, um, yeah, we, we have to check if uh, the, the environment is activated. So in my case, um, I don't have to um, do conda activate pipes earth once again, as it's already activated. And um, afterwards, we can test uh, our model run with the following uh, command. Um, it's a dry run as there is um, minus n at the end. So if I press enter, um, as it's a dry run, nothing happens, but we get a summary um, of all jobs which have to be done. Um, we just have to wait a few seconds. Yeah, so nothing happened. Um, just like uh, uh, a summary of all jobs which are getting done as soon as I remove the minus n. We can actually do then our rerun. Um, I hope that the setup of Pipes of Earth is now more clear to you and I hope to see you in our next session.